Hello and welcome to a Grizz Zombies Wonder Weapon review. Today we're going to be talking about the KT4 and how you can build it on Zetsubu Noshima. There are three pieces of equipment on the map you're going to need to get. You're going to need a vial, you're going to need a plant, and you're going to need spider blood. We're going to start with spider blood because these are there are hints right next to the Wonder Weapon that we can look at and give clues as to what we need to do. If you've been over by Lab A before, you've seen this cage. This cage has a purple hand that is emerging, some sort of mist from it. This mist does attract spiders, and that's what that picture was representing. So on a spider round, you're going to want to just walk around this cage, and that once the spider gets close enough, it will trap itself inside, and you will be able to progress into what you need to do next, which is go upstairs. And if you don't already have this activated so it's uh, the panel's green, you're going to need that water, that contaminated water or whatever. But the, if the panel's already green, go ahead and lift the cage up, and it will automatically do the animation for you. It will extract the venom from the spider itself, and that will go into a vial in which you can obtain. Don't know what this is. Better hang on to it. The next piece of the KT4 is a plant that's underwater. How we came across this was when we were underwater grabbing the wheel for Pack-a-Punch. We also saw that other path we could take. And we, when we took that down there, there's an air bubble in which we could shoot for air and let us breathe long. And so there's going to be a staircase right down here to the right is where Mule Kick is. That door's 1500. You're going to take it right along underwater to the left. Up here we're going to get some really water. Get that. Up right. some air. Getting out of air, man. I uh, down here. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got a part for the KT4. Okay. The last piece for the KT4 is outside of Lab B. It is a file, and you don't have to be on a specific round to get it. There he is. There he is. I got him. I got him right here. All right. So he's, you can easily tell he's a different zombie than the rest because he's carrying a power up, literally in his stomach. And then he'll drop it right there. Andrew, do you got a zombie? Yeah. Alright, let me kill these so I can get good footage of this. It's a flare. It looks like a vile flare. This could be useful. And so that is the third part of the KT4. The room right outside of Mule Kick is where you're gonna build this sucker. You're gonna bring it right over and it's gonna do a little animation for you, like a little, little Willy Wonka thing. And it's going to set it back in place and you're going to be able to pick it up. And we have the Kasungi no Tazurki. What kind of a sick mind decides to weaponize Mother Nature herself? Oh my god. You will pay. Spinning days are done. So you can hold it up to three charges. You just got vined up, maggot addict. Whoa. Oh shit, yeah, fuck, I got trapped. Did you, uh, do you want to water this plant with your loop? Or do you want, uh, did you plant this one, do you remember? I hope you guys enjoyed that little gameplay of the KT4. We will hopefully be able to upgrade this sucker in the future days to come. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Violent, and I'm out.